Talk to each other. Hey, look. Lake boat. Lake boat. I'm okay. Good close up. There's the lake, guys. We saw it. We heard it here first. Let's go home. Let's go. We're going back. Hey guys, so it's day six here at uh, in Finland, Helsinki. Um, yeah, yesterday was awesome. The show was amazing. I want to say thank you guys so much for helping me to get to go on this amazing trip. But uh, yeah, the trip still goes on, you know. I'm here right now at Lake Bodum, you know, keeping it in the theme and whatnot. And, uh, still have some stuff to do on this trip, so there's more to come, all right? So let's check this out. <laughs> what do you got there? That says cloudberry. It does. What is a cloudberry? That's for another blog. <laughs> well, next time on uh, Taylor Wild Child Washington New Gare Bear blog. Wine. <laughs> yes. Gare this is a plastic yeah. bottle. But yes, you know, whatever. It is a, an ecologically this... friendly plastic bottle. Evergreen. About to get classy Squishy up in Lake, Lake fucking yeah. Bodum right now. Squishy for the camera. Yeah. Squishy for the camera. Oh yeah, man. Yeah. It's his squeeze because the squeeze, squeeze bottle. It. Yeah. Do it. Can I call you G unit? Well, Just do it. It's good. Yes. Here we are. Love the picture. Yeah. We're drinking at Lake Bodum. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are. That is where we're working we out the cor courage to kill ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> actually, they actually a time machine has been invented. It only goes forward though. <laughs> like push him in for that joke. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I want to go that boys for men. Bird calls people. Seagulls, that's what seagulls sound like. You use the same toy. You are so overdubbing the birds with that sound. What? I don't want that getting around to you. I know. Wait, did you? <laughs> Never mind. All right. Oh my god, I love. I... The thing is, when I when I was hey, bottom dog. Hey guys, guys, guys. All right, all right. right. He, he hates me. Okay. Garrett, stop making video. No dogs. Garrett. What the fuck? <laughs> An American, an Englishman, and a Chinese man end up stranded on an island. The American man is basically assigned to build a tent. The Englishman is designed to build what? I know this one. Oh uh, yeah, okay, all right. You're, 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 Shut the fuck up. Are you not interrupting? You're excited. Yeah, man. He yeah. is designed to build an SOS. You know, just like something that creates a lot of smoke so people can see for miles. And the Chinese man, his job is to get supplies. And so, of course, you know, the Englishman, you know, he more or less builds the tent. No, no, the American builds the tent. The American man builds the tent. The Englishman more or less is able to make a fire that is just like so much smoke that people can see it for just hundreds and hundreds of miles. And then, and then the Chinese man is nowhere to be seen. He's just he just disappeared. No one has any idea where the fuck he is. And all of a sudden, they they come to the edge of the jungle in the middle of the island. You know, just looking for him. And the Chinese man shouts. Supplies! <laughs> like, so, an Englishman, a Frenchman, and a Polak are stuck on a boat floating in the middle of the ocean. And eventually, upon time after a couple days, they end up on an island, which is inhabited by a native tribe. The native tribe is a very secluded tribe and very personal, so they don't like this at all. They say, hey, we don't like you land on this island. You got two choices. We're either going to kill you or we're going to give you 40 lashes. But we'll be reasonable and we'll let you put one thing on your back to dull the pain. The Englishman goes first. 
and he wants cream on his back. So they rub some cream on his back to try to ease the pain, and they whip him 40 times, and he screams in agony. The Frenchman is next, and being French, he asks for wine on his back. Obviously, this doesn't do shit, and again, fuck you, he's in a lot of pain. The Polak smiles and says, I'll put the Frenchman on my back. Oh. Nice! How do you circumcise a hillbilly? What sure How? Negaman. You kick his sister in the Negaman. fucking jaw. Oh, okay. Negaman. Ew! I get it! Uh, his sister's giving him a blowjob. <laughs> no shit, bitch! Oh. So it's our last day here in Finland. Uh, a lot of the guys had already headed home, but uh, I made arrangements to meet up with somebody who we met when they were on tour in the States and uh, jam and maybe get some food. So here's some of that footage. Uh, yeah, I'm sharing this room with another bitch, so he's doing some mixing jobs here. Uh, okay. I'm teaching and practicing, and then we just all make some stuff here. like. Once in a while, you're already recording some vocals as well. Thank you. Is, is it anywhere near? Uh, it's really hard to say. I wish I knew. I'm not going to go tell the internet. The yeah. camera's off. No, <laughs> we actually just ordered some vocal boot stuff for uh, the Yari's okay. Cool. Nice. Two more vocals here. Do you have anything we could hear? Um, maybe. <laughs> if you're not recording. <laughs> I was gonna ask you that. Did you, did he give you like the track, or did he tell you where to play? Like for all the, because this is like an easier page of the. Like I realized that could be a straight sweep. Uh, right. Did you right. design the way it would slide around like that? Um, or? Some of it. Uh, some of it. What usually happens is, Yari records mm -hmm. demos mm -hmm. and then. Uh, after he's recorded them, he doesn't remember anymore how he played them. So he just gives me the MP3, <laughs> learn this. So I, I pretty much have to use my ear for just transcribing everything. How long does that take you? I can't remember how that one took, but sometimes it's harder. Sometimes I have to ask, well, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Nowadays, I set up my sound the, the way that if I have my volume on full and bridge pick up full, the yeah. rhythm sound, if I touch the strings light enough, I can make it. Oh, really you can clean. almost make it cleaner. But then, at the same time... So without using the volume. Right. Time 1 was uh, the tri-axis and uh, the simul class 2, 90. Okay. Nice, nice. stuff. Nice. Uh, for time 2, we tried already. Yeah. We have been the axe effects. The Kemper stuff, maybe? Uh, yeah. We had the Kemper, and now Yari just got himself one of the newer models. Okay. But he said that he didn't like to touch so much the dynamics. Wow. What I usually do for these, if, if I, if, if it feels hard like this one is the hardest probably in the, the whole sequence, I try to break down just the picking part. I try to do the... Uh. And then I can hear the rhythm totally clean. Okay. And if it's tight or not. Okay. If I can do the picking hand separately, then I can do it with the fretting hand as well. Usually the picking hand is actually the problem. Exactly how it falls on the B it is. Feels way harder. Yeah, right? 
without doing the finger. Right. But when you get this going, then you can actually uh, control it, then it's way easier to do right. it as well. Right. Oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah, again, it feels weird. First. Very weird, yeah. But that's cool, though. song or whatever like I went to a karaoke the other day and um, <laughs> with all the hundred guitarists and they have just open mics so anybody that knows the song can get up there and play and it's amazing oh, like man. a lot of these guys just knew songs and just started jamming them together and I was just like I can't think of one song right now that I know all the way through like I mean like maybe, like, maybe but like even then it's like what's the bridge you know right. it's like I can't remember it at all it was funny we wanted to do oh yeah maybe we could do the yeah. It's standard, yeah? It's standard. Yeah. Shall we go with the Viking truck? Uh, that would be awesome. Please excuse me if I get, like, really nervous and <laughs> can't play. Can you do the sweep as well? Uh, if you could. <laughs> I should know it, though. Yes, you can do it. I can't.
So we then head out to get some real Finnish food and some drinks. And uh, unfortunately, I didn't get any footage of this. I stopped filming. I was pretty tired. And I didn't want to be too annoying with the camera. I kind of wanted it to be a little chill, a little bit more relaxed. So uh, I did get some pictures, though. I got some meatballs and mashed potatoes, which uh, were really, really good. Even just for meatballs and mashed potatoes, they were awesome. And here's an open-faced reindeer sandwich, which was actually really good. Apparently, it's the Finland like staple, uh, something you got to try when you're there. And I actually really, really liked it. It was pretty good. And for dessert, we got the squeaky cheese and cloudberry sauce. Now, this was pretty interesting. Uh, apparently, when you chewed on the cheese, uh, the cheese against your teeth would make a squeaky sound, hence the name, uh, squeaky cheese. And uh, definitely one of the more interesting desserts I've ever had. And uh, yeah, this was definitely, you know, a big highlight for me for the trip. Timo was uh, not only a great guitarist, but just an awesome all-around guy, uh, just down to hang out, just, you know, was open to do pretty much anything. And uh, it was just really a perfect way to end the trip. <laughs>